Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your power message for Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday and I love this message. This is a preview from heaven of what's to come. It says, I allow, which means you let in, you allow this come to you, you open your arms to receive. I allow my income to constantly expand. Now, this is a great sign about things flowing to you. The universal flow of more, abundance, prosperity, more money, more opportunities, maybe more clients, more resources, more material things, more health, feeling good, you know, bringing in joy and love. But this is a great message about you attracting more into your life because thoughts become things. So the more you work on you and raising your vibration and being grateful and releasing the past and just allowing things to be by being more involved in the now. And that's really what all the messages over the last few days have been about. You open up to universal flow. And the universe has given you a huge sign today that your income is about to increase. That something is coming into your physical world that's going to allow you to work on your dreams. So we do always worry about crazy things. And, you know, when we know that God is our source, we let go of those crazy thoughts and we realize that, wow, I am safe. I have enough. I'm always provided for. Everything is always working out for me because I am rich in all things. Thank you, universe, for blessing me with money and power and success and health and love and all the things that I've been dreaming of throughout my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so it is. And today the universe is giving you a preview that your income is going to improve. It's about to constantly expand. There's something big coming into your life. Now, for some of you, this means actual money. It means your bank account is going to increase. You're going to have more. You know, you're going to be open to receiving more, however that may be. So let go of limited beliefs or limited thinking. You may think, well, how am I going to get more money? When they only earn a certain amount. Now you leave that to the universe. Let the universe create the way. Because the universe will. It will create ideas in your mind to generate more. Or show you ways how you can accomplish and do more. Or show you how you can maybe budget or attract more in. You know sometimes when we are so grateful. We go shopping and the things we want to buy are half price. Or people give us those things so we haven't got to buy them. Or we have a rebate in some way or a promotion or something magical comes in. So this is a message and they're giving me tooth gnashing together, which is about decisions. So this is a message about decisions you may be making in your life to bring more in. You know, maybe you're worrying, thinking, well, I don't want to leave my job because I'm afraid I'm, how am I going to pay the bills or how am I going to survive? Yet you know you're being guided or called or pulled to something else. Trust in that pull because the universe will create the way and take care of all the details. And when you know that you are safe and protected because God is your source, then you realise that you'll be given so much more. You know, the thing that held me back for a long time for going full time on YouTube was fear of paying the bills. And this was before me and George came into union. You know, I was being called to do it full time way before I did. But it was the fear. What if I can't pay the bills? What if it doesn't work out? And all these buts and what ifs come into your mind. And, you know, eventually I took that leap and it was the best decision I made. Not just financially, but spiritually mentally emotionally and it happened at the right time because it happened just before the pandemic hit when we were all guided to work from home and all these things went on so the universe knows the quickest most powerful way to bring in your dream but we have to step out of the way and dare to take that leap dare to take that risk and you know I'm addressing you as divine families because so many of you right now are realizing what you want you know, you've been called to reinvent yourself in 2022. And the masculines are doing this too. But this is today about your message. And if you're being called to reinvent your career, 
or focus on service or do something new. That's what you've been guided to do. You know, look about me. You know, I've reinvented myself in 2022 by wearing wigs. You know, even started a wig channel, Wigs with Liz, to embrace that passion. And that's something I was guided to do. So follow your guidance because it will work for you. It will bring in success. And even if you don't see that success straight away, it will fulfill you. And fulfillment is success in itself. You know, every day I feel fulfilled because I'm doing what I love and I'm connecting with you guys and feeling alive. That's what is true abundance and true support and true power because you enjoy and love the life you live. So the message today is your income is about to constantly expand because it is constantly expanding and also the flows of income too. So, you know, if you've been wanting your business to get off the ground and it hasn't yet, this is a great preview that that's ahead. Or if you want more clients or more interest in what you're doing or more followers on YouTube or on social media or whatever you're doing, this is your sign today that this is ahead. So be grateful today for your tomorrow. So allow your income to constantly expand. And the way we allow that in is by removing negative thinking or limited beliefs, thinking, oh, I can't have that because of this, or I'm not qualified, or I can't pay the bills, or, you know, I can't do that today, or I only earn this, so how can I get that? Leave those details to the universe, because the universe creates the way. And it's the same with manifesting. You know, if you're manifesting something, you have to believe it to receive it. You don't worry about how it's going to come to you, you just know it will. You know, one of our soul sisters has commented on my phone video and said, you know, I'm asking the angels for a new phone. But you have to believe that that phone is possible for you. And it is. You know, one of our other soul sisters thought that the phone was out of her price range, but she believed enough and set the intention. And lo and behold, the universe gave her the phone. So it does match about budgeting and limits and earnings and you know, price caps and all these things, what matters is the universe is vast and huge and limitless and it can give you your dreams. So all you have to do is believe it to receive it. When we ask and we believe, we receive. And that's what this week's Pixie Power reading is all about. So if you want to know more about that, go and watch that reading. So I'm going to bring in a message today from Archangel Ariel and the Angels of Abundance. So how can we allow our income to constantly expand? So two cards coming out. So the message is abundance mindset. Wow, love it. And when we are working on self, our chakra system is aligned. So we allow more in from our crown right to our root. So if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment and that is what you will experience. Act as if you have it now. I have plenty of everything. I am rich in all things. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. I feel good. I am healthy. I am excited. I'm grateful. That's feeling in the now everything you want to bring in. Powerful. Have that abundance mindset and your income will constantly expand. And attracting, not chasing. I mean, isn't this interesting? Not just for money and our dreams, but also for our union. Acting as if it's here and not chasing it. Not pressuring or demanding it in any way. Uh, attracting or allowing it in. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. That means, you know, if you're constantly thinking about how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, worrying about why it isn't happening, it's not going to come in. Instead, leave, let it go, let it flow, give it to God. I trust you this or something better, please. I know my journey is taken care of. I have everything I need here and now. I am rich in all things. I am valuable. I deserve love. I deserve success. I deserve money. I attract all these things in because I believe I am worthy of them. 
And when you're in that energy, you're in an abundance mindset and everything else is going to flow. And also remember to clear the clutter, to clear the space, because if you've got stuff everywhere, you haven't got room for more. So clear the clutter to create room for more. And, you know, it goes the same with your business and anything you're doing, you know. It's like me and George constantly have this conversation because I'm a planner, as most of us divine feminines are, and I've got a little bit of, you know, I mean, we all as divine feminines, we've got control issues. We have to learn to let go of them. But, you know, I'm one of them women who, you know, I like to have things in order. So, for example, my emails, you know, I haven't got emails in, in my e inbox, okay? I have uh, lists like folders for readings, this, that, the other. And when you know, you guys know, you know, if you send me an email, I respond very quickly to that email. Or, you know, sometimes if I don't reply, it's because I'm being bombarded with emails. But, you know, I, I, I have a plan, you know, and my inbox gets cleared very quickly. I don't keep emails hanging around. I put them into folders or sort them out, delete them, get them where they need to be. And it's the same with YouTube. I have playlists for all of my videos. And, you know, George, his emails are his emails. He's probably got 2,000 emails. I don't probably more than that in his inbox. You know, he reads them and, and deals with them, but they're all still there. And I'm constantly saying clear out your inbox. Because if you clear it out, you're going to attract in more. It's like if you want more clothes and your wardrobe is jam-packed, you haven't got room for more. And if you do accumulate more, it's going to be on the floor, it's going to be a mess. And, you know, I had to clear out my space, you know, over the last week or so because of that. And George went on holiday with his stepdad, gave me the perfect opportunity to clear. He cleared out, so I cleared up. So remember, if your masculine clears out, in other words, if you're in separation, you have the opportunity to clear up your vibration and your life and get things done. So make room for more and more will come in. It's the same with your phone. You know, if you've got things on your phone, clear them up. If you've got things in your, your purse, your wallet, your handbag, old receipts, things you don't need, clear them up. You're going to attract more in by freeing up space. So free up space to have that abundance mindset to attract more in. And then you realize there's no need to chase because you are attracting, you know, you are magnetic. You're like this gorgeous flame that's attracting all the things in you want. And then you can just say, amazing, I attract my dreams. I am safe because you will feel all of these things. And as Ralph Smart says, feel so good to be alive. Yes, because you know you are attracting, not chasing and everything is flowing in. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.